Welcome back to Andy's Guide. In today's video, we are going to show you how to apply a prepayment to an invoice here in Zero. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Zero, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just to follow the on screen instructions, and you're good to go. Applying a prepayment to an invoice in Zero can streamline your accounting by ensuring the invoice reflects the amount already paid, which of course helps in accurate financial reporting and maintaining clear records. It also aids in managing cash flow and avoiding confusion over outstanding functions or outstanding balances. Now here, I'm going to go to the uh, demo company because this account has a lot of more data than the Andes guides. Okay, now for example, you are working with a specific payment or an invoice. So you might want to go to the business, go to invoices, and check some of the uh, transactions. For example, you wanted to apply a prepayment to an invoice here at Bayside Club. You have two options. You can click on new invoice here. It's automatic. Or you can click the plus button here on the upper right corner and create a new invoice, bill, contact. But of course, we're selecting uh, this one. You can, of course, um, create a um, invoice from scratch. All right. Make sure that you are sending it to the right um, account. For example, it's going to be uh, Andy Guide in this instance. And of course, enter the invoice number, reference if you wanted. Of course, you can put it standard and very orange invoice. All right. So it's all up to you. Now, you want to make sure all the information are correct. For example, um, golf balls has been. We're going to create, a, let's say, 20, 20 items. And of course, you wanted to put in maybe a prepayment of a $1. And the amount is going to be like $1. Okay, so you wanted to make a prepayment of $1 to this specific account. All I'm going to do is click on save, save and close. All right. Or just hover again to the uh, option earlier. You see that one invoice is owed to you, right? That's going to be like $1 which is we're going to apply for a prepayment. Now, I'm going back to this specific invoice, for example, Bayside Club. I'm going to click on this transaction. Let's take this for an example. Okay. And now let's add a payment or a prepayment. Click on invoice. Or you can simply click on add payment. And that's going to make sure the uh, amount is correct. For example, 20. Make sure the account is correct. It's going to be checking our savings. Date paid. This is for um, prepayment only, all right? And after that, all they're going to do is click on add. That's, that's all. These are the ways for you to be able to add a prepayment here on um, zero. Because if you choose the prepayment you recorded from the list of available prepayments, you need to specify, of course, the amount you wish to apply to the invoice, all right? Save or confirm the allocation. After that, after applying the prepayment, check the invoice and prepayment records to ensure everything is correctly allocated. That's one. Because the invoice should show the reduced amount due reflecting the prepayment applied, okay? Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.